Wesley, and I have been invited to speak on this Mission Monday to talk to you about how Jesuit education and the Santa Clara Mission involve the arts. I think maybe they chose me because I'm a professor of theater and Department of Theater and Dance, but also probably because I'm married to Renee Billingsley, who is a senior lecturer in the Department of Art and Art History. So this talk should probably start with Latin, which I never took, but which is integral to a Catholic institution and to the Jesuits, starting with a term like magis, more spirit of generous, generous excellence and striving for the greater good. What more can we do for the greater good, not just for the self, but for the greater good and the community? But really key for the Jesuits and for the arts, I believe, is guru personalis. Guru personalis, the whole person. The education of the whole person is part of our mission to make sure that we create uh, a curriculum that educates the whole person and helps them relate to the community and to the larger community. And that's what we do in the Department of Theater and Dance. Uh, when someone comes in and they know what they really want to do is be a playwright, they still have to take an acting class and they still have to take design classes and they still take classes in production and they, they take a, a movement, a dance class. Because in the same way that the Jesuits want to create uh, and educate the whole person so that you can be a useful citizen in society and go and do good for others on behalf of those who are on the margins. We want our artists to be well rounded artists, even if the only thing they do is playwright, then they'll have a much greater appreciation for all of the other people who are collaborators in this collaborative art of theater. Um, Someone recently showed me uh, the American Sign Language sign for perspective. And they said, it's a digit, any digit up. And then it's this. And I think it's lovely because it's not this in a static position that it moves. So that's not just the students in the theater department doing this or the students in engineering doing that or, or business doing this, it's, it moves. That perspective needs to be broad and wide so that you can see things from someone else's point of view. I grew up in Texas, and uh, but I was growing up with the belief that the calling was only for the clergy. Only the clergy would feel that they were called to the ministry or called to be a missionary or those sorts of things. When I got to Santa Clara, one of the Jesuits said, we believe that everyone, everyone has a calling. And that calling is when your greatest gifts, the things that you do best, that bring you the most joy, when they intersect with the needs of the world, that's your calling. That point of intersection is the reason why you're here. And that point is you meeting they, which makes a we. And that we is so much more important than this me. So that's my thoughts about how the arts, which give us perspective, which help us listen, which help us to be in communion with the world, help our students be more educated our students who leave here thinking differently and thinking creatively more so than some students who've only had the blinders on in their one realm of education, not taking in from other aspects, not figuring out how uh, uh, the work of sculpture, how the work of painting, how the work of photography, how the work of filmmaking how those things can come in, how the world of dance, if I can communicate without, but with, then I am so far ahead of the game for people who can only communicate with code, because eventually they'll need to talk about those ideas with other people. And we help them do that. And it's a gift. It's a gift and an honor to be able to. 
So that's my Monday mission message. Have a great week.